This is the valve adjuster screw from a Volkswagen 1600 dual port engine. And it's kind of the bane of most people when it comes to adjusting valves. Hard to hold this steady with a screwdriver while you're working the feeler gauge and trying to cinch down the uh, jam nut. Well, I often wondered why you couldn't use an Allen screw in place of that. And looked all over the internet, couldn't find anything. Finally, a guy turned me on to these. And I wasted 160 freaking dollars buying a full set of these, not thinking anything about this cup. I didn't know what it was. Sure enough, it's got an Allen head on it. But these are the adjusters for the empty heavy-duty rocker arms. Well, I don't have a racing engine, and these go on the push rod. So you have to buy all new rocker arms. About 200 bucks. Well, I didn't want to do that. So I came up with the idea. I found some 8 millimeter by 25 millimeter long with a one pitch grub screws. They're hardened steel. Now they don't have the fancy taper like the like the factory ones do. But somebody told me, you know, I went on the uh, ruined Volkswagen page and in Facebook and came up with this idea. All oh, these are convex and they're rounded on the tip. Well, I'm sorry, that's as flat as a pancake. That's not rounded. Now, when you go in here, of course they are off to one side of the valve just a little bit. Now, if you focus in on this, this is the grub screw. Looks about the same. So what I'm thinking is, I'll take that and just grind that down, file it down on my grinder until that's flat. Shouldn't be any problem. Well, I suggested this in the ruined VW section and Facebook. And Boy, then the name calling began. I was called an idiot and a moron. And some guy that thinks he's real important because he races these things, you know, got to the point I blocked him. And then he come back on his dead mother's profile, starts telling me, oh, she's a Volkswagen royalty. Well, I don't give a damn what you are. You know, I was raised up on a farm. We had to make what we didn't have if you couldn't find it or you couldn't afford it half the time. And if these are made out of the same tempered steel as these, what the hell is the difference? Now, would I do something like this on a high performance engine? Hell no. I'd get the heavy duty rocker arms and, you know, switch everything out. But I'm running a stock 1600, basically a glorified lawnmower. So you go here, you know, and they're just a, just a little offset right there. And I think that's all that's needed. These are offset so that when they come down, it nudges the valve and it turns it slightly every time it comes down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make up a set of these. I'm going to grind them flat, put just a tiny bit of a taper. But I was told, oh, it will interfere with the valve keepers. Those don't get anywhere near the valve keepers. I mean, these experts apparently don't know what the hell they're talking about. And I'm going to install these in my car. And I should know immediately if I'm starting to have any problems with, you know, temper. And, you know, they start loosening up. <laughs> it starts sounding like a Harley. So uh, I'm going to grind these down, make them flat. And then I'm going to install them in my car, and I'm going to do a running test over the next few weeks. So this is part one. Part two will be putting them in and adjusting the valves. 
and then part three will be the road test.